we are going to do the box stitch raglan precious top tutorial so what I'm going to use I'm going to use a different color this time but I'm going to use the same material other than this so this one I'm going to use is white and it's ice ice yarns the specs on it is 50% cotton 50% acrylic it says it's a number two to use a 3.4 millimeter or US 3-6 hook knitting needles is what it shows but um no colorway kind of white white and this it's kind of a purplish looks more of an orchid color really but it says 100% Giza cotton a four millimeter US 6 and it's a number three but that's what we're gonna use and I'm gonna be using a 5.5 hook So let me get this yarn ready and I will be ready to go. Okay, I got a little bit of yarn bark part there, but that's okay. And I didn't even get this other side. So how I get mine out is one end is really packed together, a big swirl. The other one is kind of open, so I open it up. Let's see how much of a mess I can make. And follow it down. And then stick your finger in there and you will find a um, like a glob. <laughs> Let's see. There you go. See that wasn't bad. How about that? Alright, so I'm going to lay this over here to the side. But we're going to start with the white. Alright. So we are going to do a magic loop. A magic loop is hold your tail there, wrap around two fingers, make an X, hold it with your pinky. That's how I do it. Put your hook under the first one and pull through the second one. All you have to do is pull it up. And chain three, two, three. Okay. We are going to turn around and put two double crochets in this. I get that hook. I mean, I always pull my tail to the outside. All right. So. A double crochet we're gonna put two double crochets a double crochet is yarn over into the ring pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we're gonna do that again yarn over into the ring yarn over pull up yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's a double crochet a chain is yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through one on the double crochet rows we are only going to put two for our peaks two chains so then we're going to turn around put three double crochets back into this loop so Here's one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet. You can go ahead and pull your ring now. You're going to have just a little bit of a, a center there, but that's going to be okay. So now we're going to chain one turn inward and we're going to put a single crochet in that very first 
double crochet and a single crochet is into the stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two our single crochet row is going to be single crochet chain three the whole time so single crochet chain three one two three we're going to skip two of these and we're going to go into the peak here and we are going to put a single crochet a chain three we will always do that on the single crochet row because we are putting um, six double crochets in there on the next round so we'll turn around and put a single crochet back in that same uh, peak we're going to chain three one two three and in the very first um, chain three we did which is acting as a double crochet we are going to put a single crochet there our single crochets on the ends will be our increase rows so let's go on to the next row we're going to be doing our double crochet row now so it's one two three and you're going to turn and into this single crochet row we are going to put two double crochets in it there's one there's two in every chain three we are going to put three double crochets so there's one double crochet there's two double crochets there's three double crochets in your peaks you will also put three double crochets there's one double crochet there's two double crochets there's three double crochets and remember I said in our double crochet rows we're only going to put a chain two in it we're going to turn around and put three more double crochets into that peak so there's one double crochet there's two double crochets and there's the third double crochet we got a chain three here so we're going to put three double crochets in that so there's one double crochet there's two double crochets there's three double crochets we're down here at the single crochet which that is going to be our increase which you will increase on both sides so we will be putting three double crochets into this single crochet right here so there's one double crochet there's two double crochets and there's three double crochets okay I'm going to my needle is a little squeaky so we're going to chain one we're going to turn and right back into that um, chain three that we just did we're going to put a single crochet then we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to skip these two and right in between this set of three double crochets and this set of three double crochets we're going to put a single crochet we're going to chain three one two three and in between these two sets 
we're going to put a single crochet. One, two, three, we're going to chain. And in between these two sets, we're going to put a single crochet. This is the peak now, so it's a single crochet. We're going to chain three because we've got to put six double crochets there. And we're going to put a single crochet again. We're going to repeat over here with a chain three. One, two, three. In between these two sets, we're going to put a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three. In between these sets, a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three. And in the top of this chain three here, we will put a single crochet. Our single crochets on the end will be our increase. So that's what it's looking like so far. Okay, let's carry on. We're going to turn, chain three, one, two, three. And in that single crochet, we are going to put two more double crochets. There's one and there's two. <coughs> Excuse me, let me get this. Get this all untangled. All right. So remember, in our chain three spaces, we're going to put three double crochets. So there's one double crochet, two double crochets, three double crochets. And that's what we're going to do in each one of these chain three spaces. So let's go ahead and do that. That's one double crochet two double crochets, three double crochets. The next chain three space, we're going to put three double crochets. That's one. That's two double crochets. And that's three double crochets. And into this chain three up here, we're still going to do the same thing. We're going to place three double crochets. There's one, two double crochets, three double crochets. On the double crochet rows, we are only going to do a chain two. Excuse me. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> So we're going to put a chain two and we're going to turn around and put three double crochets back in the same spot. So there's one double crochet, there's two double crochets, and there's three double crochets. Well, I really messed that up now as I moved it around. Pay no mind to me. All right. So we got a chain three space here. So we're going to put three double crochets. There's one. There's two. And there's three. There's another chain three space. Let's put three double crochets there. There's one. There's two. There's three. 
There's a chain three space there. We're going to put three double crochets there. That's one. There's two. There's three. We're coming up on the single crochet and you know that is our increase. So we are going to put three double crochets in this single crochet. So there's one. There's two. And there's three. Okay. This is what it looks like so far. So as you can see, we started off with two. Then we went, and I'm doing the sides. So this would be a side over here. So there would be one, three, five. One, two, three, four, five. So everything's lining up. We're staying with the the pattern. So we are going to, I'm going to break just one minute and get this yarn right so that I'll be all right. Okay, got that yarn situated. Now you do not have to do um, change colors like I am if it's a lot easier for once you catch on to this and it's a lot easier for you to stay with the, the one color, stay with it. But I'm going to change colors every five rows. So I'm going to do two more rows of this. Okay, we ended with a increase in our single crochet there. We're going to chain one, turn inward, and we're going to go right back and do a single crochet. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, we're going to skip the next two and we're going to put a single crochet between those two and a set of three there. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're going to go in here and put a single crochet. One, two, three. In between the two sets, we're going to put a single crochet. One, two, three. In between the two sets, we're going to put a single crochet. One, two, three. We're in the peak here. We're going to put a single crochet, a chain three, and a single crochet. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. Go in between these two sets. Do a single crochet. One, two, three. In between these two, we're going to put a single crochet. One, two, three. In between these two sets, we're going to put a single crochet. One, two, three. And in between these two sets, we're going to put a single crochet. Chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to put a single crochet in the top of our chain three there. Try your best to get two legs and I got the wrong kind of hook but that's what I like to use with these. There you go, a single crochet. So that round we did a single crochet, chain three, and placed a single crochet in between three sets of double crochets between the sets and in the peak here we put a single crochet chain three and a single crochet okay we're on to the double crochet row we're going to turn our work inward chain three Remember, our single crochets are always going to be our increase. So we're going to turn around and put two more double crochets in that single crochet. Now in every chain three space, we are going to put three double crochets. So let's do that. Here's one double crochet. There's two double crochets. 
And there's three double crochets. Another, another uh, chain three space, so that means that's three double crochets. There's one, two, and three. So go ahead and do that. You can place three double crochets in each of these chain three spaces. Even in the top, it's going to be three double crochets, a chain two, three double crochets, and three down the side. Remember, I'll meet you over here on this last one here. All right. All righty. Here we go on this one. We're going to finish this round up by doing our increase by putting three double crochets in the single crochet here on the corner. So there's one double crochet. There's two. And we're going to put one more in there for three double crochets in that single crochet that we did there. We're going to turn inward. We're going to chain one. And we're going to go right back down in that last double crochet and place a single crochet. This is going to be our single crochet chain three row. So we did our single crochet. We're going to do our chain three. One, two, three. We're going to skip these two at the very beginning and in between the two double crochet clusters, we are going to place a single crochet. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And in between these clusters, we're going to place a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. In that space, we're going to put a single crochet. Chain three, and we're going to do this till we get to this point. And in the point, we are going to place a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet. I'll get you to that point. Slow down. One, two, three. A single crochet. Chain three. In the point, we're going to do a single crochet, chain three. And a single crochet in that point. We're going to do the same thing down the side which is a chain three two three and in between the two clusters we will place a single crochet. All right finish that up till you get to this last one and I'll be right back. All righty I'm down here to my last single crochet that I'm going to place between the two clusters. Do my chain three, one, two, three. And in the top of this chain three, we are going to put a single crochet. And always make sure you have two legs. Place a single crochet. Alrighty, one, two, three, four. We're going to turn our work inward. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. Remember our single crochets is our increase. So we're going to place another double crochet along with another. So that would be in your in, in your single crochets is your increase, is your chain three and two double crochets, or three double crochets in your end. So now all this is is in your chain three spaces you will be putting three double crochets in each one. In your peak you will put three double crochets, a chain two, three double crochets, and then back to the pattern of three double crochets in each chain three space. And I will meet you at the in this space right here. All right.
Alrighty, we're down here to our last um, part that we're going to do for this round is we're going to place three double crochets in this chain three space. So there's one double crochet, two double crochets, and the third. Now we have a single crochet here on the end. We are going to place our increased double crochets, which is going to be three of them. So here you go. There's one, two, and there's three. All right. So I like to do my designs with five rows. It keeps it simple. One, two, three, four, five. What you want to do now is to check to see if this is going to be wide enough for your neck. So I have, now remember this is not blocked, so it's okay. I have about eight and a half inch for my neck. It's a judgment. If you want an eight and a half, you want a nine. If you want a nine, go ahead and do another row of the single crochets chain three single crochet along with the next row of three double crochets in every chain three space. I'm going to quit at this and we're going to start doing the um, connecting it to the front. All right so this is going to be part one of how to get your neck started for your top and I will do a video on part two of connecting your front to this. Okay. Thank you for watching. I like to hear the comments. Give me some reviews on, was it easy to follow? What do I need to do in number two, uh, part two of this? Any corrective criticism I am up to. So once again, thank you for watching and let me know how you're coming along with this.